Hello, and welcome back to Fallout 76. Today we are going to be opening mutated party packs. I have saved up 25 of them, and I would like to know what's inside. Now don't worry, this is not going to be a video where I open 25 packs one at a time. I'm going to open one of the packs just to get an idea of what's inside, and then I'll skip ahead to the end after I've opened the rest, and we can go over everything that I got. Now I know you can get ammunition and plans and I think you can get scrap too. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure. I've been saving the packs. Uh, but I have cleared out my ammo except for the film. Uh, my junk tab is empty. My notes, I have lots of those, but I don't have any plans in there. I've also gotten rid of all the aid except for the packs and all the food. All right, first party pack, and then I will skip to the end after, uh, after I open the first one. So I got long shot. Oh, a serum. Okay, you can get serums in there. That's cool. Uh, stim packs, super stim packs, uh, 308 rounds. Uh, oh, that's probably because of long shot. Gunpowder. Okay, so a little bit of scrap. Screws, concrete scrap, aluminum, and 45 rounds. I am holding a fixer, so it looks like it does give you a... Uh, oh, an egghead. Okay, egghead serum. Cool. Uh, yeah, it looks like it gives you contextual ammo and anti-armor revolutionary sword. All right, so two legendary items. Wow, that's pretty cool. All right, long shot is a hunting rifle. Okay, instigating. All right. And the revolutionary sword I got was a three star. Okay, I'll open the rest and then we can go over everything I got. All right, so I have opened all 25 of them and uh, here is everything I got from the party packs. I got uh, 3,228 rounds of 45, so wow, that's pretty good. So the amount of contextual ammo you get is, is nice. Uh, 83 aluminum, 54 concrete, 168 screws. It looks like it gives you the same scrap over and over again, for the most part. Uh, four star or three star legendary uh, power armor piece, lots of stim packs, 192, 150 super stims, some gunpowder, uh, carnivore serum, another power armor piece, three star, some 308 rounds, and I think that's just from the uh, from long shot. I got another long shot actually. Oh, and another hunting rifle, uh, some lead, not that much though, for 25 party packs. Uh, two Confederate hat plans, another legendary power armor piece, uh, overkill, which, uh, okay, that's one of the new named weapons. Uh, two shot Merv, 90 reduced weight, yeah, overkill seems about right. Another, uh, okay, so a combat armor, legendary combat armor piece. Saltron blade, legendary. Uh, legendary Trapper piece, Pitchfork Flamer Plan, I know that's a rare one, Vampire Sickle, Mutant Shovel, let's see, Legendary Chess Piece, 205 millimeter rounds, I'm assuming there is a Legendary Minigun in there somewhere, Long Shot, oh yeah, there's the Minigun right there, Medic's Minigun, Berserker's Pole Hook, another Serum, Scaly Skin this time, uh, Legendary Combat Armor, Cutting Fluid Plan, I know that's a rare one, I don't think it's gonna be rare anymore after, uh, after the party packs, but it was rare. Hunter's pool cue, uh, sturdy metal legs plan, crossbow bolts. I must have a legendary crossbow in there somewhere. Uh, Civil War dress plan. Oh, there's the crossbow. Nothing spectacular. Legendary power armor piece. Another one. Legendary combat rifle. Couple of cannonballs. Oh, that's why. Juggernaut's broadsider. Legendary trapper piece. Uh, light robot legs plan. Uh, let's see, pickaxe, deathclaw gauntlet. Okay, that's uh, that one can be a pain to get, so that's that's nice to be able to get that out of a party pack. Another power armor piece, legendary. Another legendary. It looks like you get a legendary at least one every time. Uh, skiing outfit plan, sturdy raider arms plan. Another legendary power armor piece, uh, anti armor revolutionary sword. That wasn't from the first pack. Uh, serum plan, egghead. I think that was the first pack as well. Long shot. Okay, so we're at the end. Okay. That is everything I got. So it looks like you get quite a bit of good stuff from party packs. Plus every time uh, that's 25 mutated events that I did and I got 35 legendary script for each one of those events. So that's another 800 and something uh, legendary script that I got on top of everything in the uh, party packs. So yeah, it, it definitely seems like the mutated events are worth doing. The rewards are decent. If you found this uh, entertaining, informative, all of the above, please hit one of the buttons down below, and I hope you'll join me in the next one. Thank you very much.